Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a checkered tote bag out of old fabric or ruined clothes that you want to repurpose. Um, I just made one out of these corduroy pants that I had. I had chain oil grease on this beige one and then I had these dark green pants which I ripped right at the butt and I just couldn't sew to fix it. So I was like, I love this material so I want to repurpose it. And then it was super easy to make. I've seen stuff like this um, selling at Urban Outfitters and I was like, hmm, like I feel like it wouldn't be that hard to make. And then yeah, and then my corduroy got ruined and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make a checkered bag out of it. So this is what it looks like when it's finished. And then I added a huge pocket on this side. And the lining is just some old fabric that I had. Um, it was super easy, you just sew two pieces together and um, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. I'm going to make a different design, but this is basically what it's going to look like when it's finished. So stay tuned. Okay, so for my bag, I'm going to be using this old, um, what is called, this old button up. And then I have this scrap um, denim from one of my other projects. These were a pair of jeans. And then I also have just this scrap fabric that I had from another project too. It's like kind of like a tablecloth. And that this is so this is what I'm going to be using for the lining. And then this I'm going to cut out squares of these and sew them together first. So I'll start with that. First, I'm going to start with this fabric. I'm going to cut out nine squares that are five by five. And then I'm going to take my other fabric and cut out squares of those. So they're going to be nine squares of each colored fabric. Okay, so now we are basically just going to sew these squares together. So what you're going to do is you're going to take it to the sewing machine and you're going to have these two sides face each other, right? And then you're just going to sew along the line. And you're going to do that for all of these. You're going to face them together, sew along the line. Face these two together, sew along the line. Okay, so now that you have these three panels, see so they're sewn together on the back, um, you can go ahead and do the same thing again so just sew these three panels together so you're going to fold it over and you're basically just going to sew down the line and then you're going to fold this side over and sew down the line um, sometimes I like to iron it down first so it's flat see how it's kind of raised here um, it just makes it so it goes together more smoothly So this is what the one side of your bag should look like. Um, yeah, here's the back. And now we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Now that you're finished with both sides, you're gonna have the outsides face each other. And then you're going to sew along three of the edges while leaving the top open because that'll be the opening of your bag. So these are, yeah, these are the edges that you're going to be sewing. Okay, so you should be finished finish sewing the two sides together and it should look like this. So you can trim the edges so there's not extra left over. Okay, so now it's time for the straps. We are going to use, um, I'm going to use the denim, but you can use literally any fabric. And you're going to cut out um, two long pieces. Okay, for the straps, I just cut two strips out of the denim pants. Um, it doesn't really matter how thick they are. You can do it as thick as you want. As, you can do it as thick as you want. Um, I didn't have a long enough continuous piece of strap, so I'm going to attach these two like this. So they're really long. 
and then I'm gonna have the outsides of them face together and put them on top of each other. Okay, so now that you've sewn the straps together so they're longer, you can put the, the insides facing each other and you're basically gonna sew them, you're basically gonna sew the two together. Um, I like to pin it down like this and fold them in towards each other. So it has a nice clean edge and then you're just basically gonna sew all the way down on both sides. Okay, so for the lining, you're gonna cut two pieces of cloth that are the same size as this. So sometimes I just trace this, or you can do the measurements, which would be um, 15 by 15. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut two pieces of the, um, the red cloth, and then I'll show you what I do next. Okay, so I cut two pieces of the lining, and now I'm gonna put the outsides facing each other. And then I'm going to go ahead and sew along um, three of the edges and leaving the top open. And this is where we're going to sew it on the outer piece. Okay, so now you should have your outer piece, your inside lining, and your strap. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going to put the lining, see it's inside out right now, and you're going to put it inside the bag like so so yeah see it's inside and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take you're gonna take these pins and you're basically just gonna fold the edges like this so you're gonna fold this inward a little bit And you're gonna like fold this in like that see I'm folding the edges a little bit so it has a clean edge and then I'm going to pin all the way around So yeah, you're basically just going to want to put pins all the way around, but leave two openings on the side for the straps, so like leave like like the width of the strap, leave an opening there, because we're going to insert those in at the end. Okay, so now that you pinned all around, it should look like this, and then in the opening, you're going to pin the strap in here in between the outside and this side. So it's gonna be inside. And then you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. So now that you've got both straps pinned in, you're gonna go ahead and sew along the top edge all the way around. Now you should be all finished. This is what the final project should look like. Bye, thanks for watching.